Hey Cancers, welcome to your October uh, Terrascope. Welcome if you are new and also I thank you for coming back if you have been watching for a while. If you are new, this is Sunshine Tarot. I'm Sunshine or Nicole, however you want to call me. Some of you guys said happy birthday Nicole, like two of you in the community page. I was like, what? All right, all right, all right. So, um, how y'all doing, Cancers? How you doing? I hope all is well with you. Uh, this is not going to resonate with every Cancer out there. So try your moon. If not, try your moon sign, your rising sign, or there are a lot of great readers on YouTube. Okay, hopefully you'll find someone that uh, resonates with your story for October. Okay. Um, what else? What else? Also, if you want a reading, go to www.sunshinetarot.net. And you can get a Zoom reading, a video reading, a phone reading. All right. All right, Cancers, what love messages do you have? What do we have? I hid who I really am from you. Oh. Hmm. I don't react when people mention you. Oh, so this person kind of hides who they are. I left when I saw you with someone. All right. What else do we have? I wish I had treated you better. Hmm. We will be together again. All right. So for some cancer out there, there is someone who regrets not really opening up to you and showing you how they really felt about you and um, how much you meant to them. And this person likes to hide how they feel because they don't react when people mention you. Although the fact that some of you may have had moved on with someone new, maybe they see it on social media, maybe they heard about it, or um, it seems like this person is very territorial and they don't like to share. So they left or backed up when either they thought you had someone new or they felt like you were kind of breaking away. This person kind of um, wishes that they had treated you better, right? I know a, uh, a woman has a cancer moon and this Capricorn really liked her because I would see it in the cards, but she had someone so he would hide it. And uh, you know, when she came to Target where he worked, he would just be so happy that she was there, but he tried to hide it because he saw her there with her husband once. So this really is right on for them. I left when I saw you with someone. I wish I had treated you better and um, we will be together again. So that is a message for one group of you, okay? All right, let's see what the message is for the second group of Cancers. Second group of Cancers. I got these cards from Itzy and I wrote a review. She didn't like the review. She didn't want it to be four out of five. She wanted it to be five out of five. And so she got my review removed. Yeah. Huh. All right, so for those of you who, uh, yeah, the next group of you. What does someone want to say to you, Cancer? Cancer. Huh, so many things remind me of you. Somebody wants to say, I remember every detail about that day. I replay our conversations over and over again. I want to feel that way again. Because this person hasn't met anyone that has quite moved them the way that you have. Oh, so this person hid who they, you guys must be attracted to mysterious people because he said, I hid who I really am from you. And they regret doing that. Okay. Um, and oh, wow. And we will be together again. Another, for another group of you, the person feels that way. 
Okay, this person looks like they're pretty uh, wrapped up in you. All right. Okay. Let's see what is in the uh, cards for Cancers. Cancers for October. I see somebody from your past could come back into your life. Um, maybe a Sagittarius, Leo, Aries, or someone who was like a player who maybe kind of wanted sex or there was a very strong sexual attraction. With all these butterflies on the card, I do feel like somebody is going through a transformation. So somebody from your past could be coming back and they have really changed. They're not the same person that they used to be. Okay, with all those butterflies on the cards. But let's see what we have for you, Cancers, okay? Cancer's love, October. Cancer's love, October. Cancer's love, October. Cancer's love, October. Cancer's love. Oh, look, the Six of Cups, a Scorpio. You could have Scorpio in your chart. Scorpio could be interested in you. Your person could have Scorpio in their chart. So what do we have? We have death. Some of you definitely are dealing with a Scorpio right? Um, you could have experienced death, you know, due to COVID, um, maybe a mother-in-law, your mom, somebody close to you, right? Also, you could be going through some type of gender re-identification um, with there being a female inside, you know, I don't know, maybe you felt like you were dead inside and now you find, found that you're truly a woman inside and now you feel good, but um. Yeah, it looks like some of you stopped talking to someone that, um, yeah, you, you might have stopped talking to someone and, hmm, it, it looks like you were, I, I don't know, somebody was more serious than the other. We have the page or the princess of cup uh, next to the king of cups. So somebody is like the king of cups could be you could be, you know, another water sign. The king of cups is like, yeah, I want to get married and settle down. And the princess of cup is like, well, you know, case a rah, case a rah. They come, they go. And uh, yeah, it, it looked like something ended maybe because somebody wanted more than the other person wanted here. And so I feel like possibly somebody left a situation with someone where they weren't getting the type of commitment that they wanted. And I see that this person is very angry about it. Because to me, the Prince of Swords is someone from the past and they're very angry. And they are um, deciding to move on. I feel like one of you still wants to see with the uh, princess of disc here representing sincerity. One of you still wants to see if the other person is willing to be uh, real because you still love this person. But you have uh, maybe offered a friendship, accepted the situation for what it is, Somebody is being very mature and have um, decided to try and move on because you were not getting, it looks like the level of attention, it looks like your love language wasn't being spoken, you know, and there was an ex that could have still been involved in the situation, a baby possibly, a baby's mother, a, fa a ba baby's daddy, you know, um, and it was a lot to deal with. So I feel now like you're just trying to get yourself together. You could be dealing with a fire sign, but I feel like you're just trying to get yourself together because this was very stressful to you. And 
I don't know if you were the one who wanted something more because both of these are coming up as uh, water signs. So I feel like you might have left a baby's father or you could have left someone very important to you, uh, maybe because they were still dealing with their ex or uh, you guys just wanted different things out of the relationship. Okay, you guys may still work together or still have some financial dealings with each other. I feel that you are going to find your peace about this with the temperance card. It's going to take a lot of patience, but I feel like it might have taken you a long time to leave. Um, and it may have taken you a long time to accept that you weren't going to get what you wanted over here or it might have been or vice versa because sometimes the readings are vice versa or this person felt like they weren't going to be getting what they wanted um, out of this relationship. Okay, and I feel like they either really loved you or so there is somebody who you are in October, whoever this first group is, you're, you're getting over a situation uh, where someone, you had to end it because um, maybe they wanted more than what you offered or you wanted more than what they had to offer. And you could have started dealing with your ex again, like the kid's father, um, but... Yeah, I just basically see that. Um, I do feel like you and this person will communicate. You guys might have a child together and that's why you might need to be communicating or um, there's some type of financial reason. I feel like you guys are gonna be cool with each other, but it really hurts somebody. Whoever got uh, rejected, it really hurts them. I'm trying to shuffle these cards the other way so they just don't get stuck being shuffled that one way all right so what happens between the two of you uh, it looks to me like you continue to move on and you know uh, give your cup of love to someone who wants to get married to you and or settle down in a relationship um, yeah that's what it looks like it looks like you move on So how do they feel about that? They feel mixed emotions about it. You know, there's a part of them that understands why you did what you did, but then there's another part of them that still has feelings for you. So they're feeling a little bitter. All right, they do watch you. Um, somebody is really messed up. The tower, I don't know if this was a sudden end if you suddenly ended it with someone or what, but I feel like one of you means means business about this, not um, about you not dealing with this anymore. Somebody means business about it, and the person is driving by your house, looking at uh, YouTube maybe videos if they're into the psychic world too, and they just feel a little torn about the other person who's decided to move on if they're not going to get the type of relationship that they want. Wow. Wow. Now, I do see you getting a long-term, committed, permanent relationship. We have the Empress with the Queen of Dis. So that's definitely in your cards. Uh, maybe with the Taurus, uh, a Virgo, a Capricorn, uh, a Libra, anybody really. Now, for some of you, the walking away and taking a stand shakes this person up with the tower here, okay? When you walk away or you back up and you took a stand and you basically said, you know, um, I'm not going to be your girlfriend for three years. You know, either we're gonna get married or I need to go and find somebody who wants to get married or something like that. You know, I don't want to just be sleeping with you and nothing is developing here. It seems like for whoever this group is for, uh, taking a stand makes this person realize that they love you. Um, not because 
they're playing games like the Capricorn, but uh, it looks like they genuinely love you and maybe they just didn't know. Maybe you gave them so much that they never felt like um, they had to work to keep you. I don't know, but uh, either this person shapes up cancer or I, I definitely 150% see someone solid coming into your life right? Uh, if you are single, you probably won't be single for long. You might have a, um, a Christmas with a boo. You might have a boo before Christmas, okay? Um, now, with the Empress and the Queen of Discs, two women, you could be in a same-sex relationship, all right? Now, some of you could be dealing with a married man or a married woman, all right, and that is one of the reasons here that you had to move on. It's because this person already has someone and you want more and you weren't getting it, so you're trying to let them go. That could be the case too. All right, let's read for another group of cancers. So uh, yeah, cancers who wish me a happy birthday, thank you. If you are new here, welcome. I'm Sunshine. This is Sunshine Tarot. Uh, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a video. This is not going to resonate with every cancer out there. If not, try your moon sign or your rising sign. If you want a reading, go to www.sunshinetarot.net and you can get a reading there. Um, I definitely feel like there's somebody who you love from your past that could be coming back. All right. It seems like you guys can't quite seem to let each other go. Um, and it also seems like there is a lot of love there that you have for this person and that they have for you. So some of you um, will be surprised by a past lover. This has already happened, will happen, or is happening. Could be a Pisces, 10 of Cups is at the bottom. All right, so what do we have here? Whoa, huh? I'm fist fighting with fire just to get close to you. All right, so what do we have here? So I see some of you cancers are going to be working a lot. Um, developing your craft could be dealing with the Virgo, right? You could have Virgo in your chart. But I see some of you are definitely with someone that is working out with. You guys don't um, talk about, there's some things that you keep to yourself because you've learned that si silence sometimes is better than spewing out everything you know. But besides, the crab doesn't have a vocal cord. But anyway, there could be, you could be in a situation where you want a polyamorous relationship or they uh, may not quite be committed and they still want the liberty to see other people, okay? Nevertheless, I do see a commitment here with the Hierophant, a higher level of commitment with someone. So no doubt some of you are married, okay? And um, I feel that in October, you guys may be traveling. You may be changing residence. Your husband could be traveling. Your girlfriend could be traveling. There will be some travel, right? I also see um, a new job. I see a, re a reawakening of the love that the two of you share with each other. I feel like some of you are uh, in a relationship, maybe with a Taurus, with the Hierophant there, possibly. I do see you working really hard on your job, and I do feel like there are people who are jealous of you at your job, and I do feel like you need to be careful of people backbiting you, all right? But nevertheless, I see some of you could be teachers, you could be a tarot reader, you could be a spiritual counselor, spiritual guide, um, but as, as it relates to love, you know, I definitely feel that some of you could have been seeing someone who was seeing other people, but maybe decided that you are the one that they want to give a commitment to. And um, I feel like 
some of you may let someone else go who you just was sexual with in order to have something real with this person. And that could be what they are doing, letting go of something that wasn't serious in order to have a serious connection with you. Again, you could be a reader. You could know a reader. You guys could, they could know how to do readings. They could do spell work. Could be a strong, strong presence of Taurus and Pisces here. All right. All right. Let's look at cancers who are single. Okay. Yeah, I see an X coming back. I see an ex coming back and wanting another chance with you. Um, it looks like it looks like um, you may just want sex with them, or they may just want sex with you. Somebody just may want sex. Let's look at this ex that's coming back. Okay, I don't see you're all that interested could be vice versa. Somebody is like not gung-ho about it. We get the hermit there, Virgo. Somebody feels like, um, you know, this has already run its course. But I feel like your ex is going to come back to the cancer and offer the world to you and say, oh, baby, you know, let's try it again. I really love you. You know, you know, we can do it together. Wow, you get the four of wands, huh? Looks like they mean business. Looks like you guys are going to celebrate the relationship. Looks like you might start posting things on social media. And some of you may change your single status on Facebook to in a relationship. Okay. Uh, and it looks like you and this ex are going to um, try it again. Yeah, and let the past be the past. Now, we saw, uh, yeah, so I feel like if you're dealing uh, with the ex, you, you guys are going to try it again. They could possibly still have people in their lives, um, but I feel like somebody is leaving. Your intuition, however, may tell you that um, someone is still around. I do feel like there are people that are around that they have no plans with. In this deck, the King of Swords sword is down, which means that a plan is not being enforced. Um, you know, but the person is around. The Prince of Swords is around, but is leaving. You know. So yeah, those of you who. Some of you are going to have an encounter with an ex, and you guys are going to do good this time. All right. Cancer um, singles. Cancer singles who are not dealing with an ex. Cancer singles who are not dealing with an ex. Maybe you're dating someone, though. This is These are relationship readings, okay? So, like, you know, some people say, well... I'm not dating anyone, but thanks anyway. You know, well, these are relationship readings, so I'm letting you know now, in case you've been single for a long time, you won't sit up here and waste your time. Okay. All right. So this is for the group of you who um, are seeing someone, but you're not quite committed yet. Chariot. All right. Let's see what that chariot is. So um, those of you who are seeing someone, uh, I see it being kind of uh, casual and uh, with the magician here you guys do have what it takes to make it work I do see you guys talking to each other a lot um, they could be at a distance being that all those planets are far right you could have met them online okay uh oh Jesus you could have met them online or something. But I see those of you who are seeing someone right now and you're not quite committed, they might have some mental issues or they just may not be able to commit. So I see you leaving the situation. I, uh, I see you, you know, waiting for someone else to come along. And I just see the two of you being friends. All right, that's what I see. Um, I have no time. Damn, we ran out of time with this cancer reading. 
I don't know how that was possible. All right, Cancers in Relationships, October, Two of Cups, Three of Coins. So I see those of you who are in relationships, you are going to be building a, um, a relationship with your person and uh, getting closer, cooperating, and being on the same page with each other, all right? Uh, singles, someone is coming, someone is coming. All right, so let's take a look, Cancer, at uh, how your person is seeing you. Your person is seeing you as someone who they want to further the connection with. They're really hot for you. They uh, also uh, may be quite anxious to have a baby, okay? All right, so Cancer, we completely ran out of time. Let's take a look at your extension and take a look at where this relationship is going. How do they feel about you? Cross watcher, how does Cancer feel about you? Cancer, what are they hiding from you? Cross watcher, what is Cancer hiding from you? Do they have anyone else? Does Cancer have anyone else? What is their next action going to be? What is Cancer's next action going to be? How do they secretly feel about you? How does Cancer secretly feel about you and the outcome? All right, Cancer, how does your person uh, view you in the month of October? How is your person, ooh, the two of cups with the three of coins again. So they're viewing you as someone that they're building um, a future with, right? But notice that there are three coins here. So they could be building something with you while you're building something with someone else, or they could be building something with you and with others. Like they, you guys may not be in a completely committed relationship, but um, you're very important to them. Okay, uh, cancers in relationships. How is your person seeing you? Um, they're seeing you as someone that uh, they take very seriously, that they feel like they have a lot of potential with, and that they see maybe you guys doing things together um, materially. Not sure. All right, cancers, your uh, charm. New opportunities, okay? Uh, a chariot with the bride. You could be going to a wedding, all right? Or could be getting a new car and become a bride yourself. Let's get lost. I see a vacation, which the camp compass, you're definitely going to be traveling. I see a Leo. You could have Leo in your chart or be a Leo. Um, me and you, you're definitely, some of you are definitely going to be in something special with someone, with a Superman, with somebody who's ready to settle down with you, okay? All right, so, yes. We have a little bit more time left. Cancers, I'm going to tell you how your person is feeling about you, okay? Uh, I'm not going to take that. Somebody said, don't take pull the cards back once you see it. They'll say the same thing. They'll just say it in a different way. Cancers, how is your person feeling about you? Five of Cups with the Princess of Dis. Wow, somebody is really hurting over you. And um, somebody is crying. Uh, and they really want an opportunity to be with you, have a child with you, make it work, right? Um, they really want to hold on to you, get married to you, or this could be someone that you're really feeling that way about. But um, we get the tower here. Well, we're going to take a look at this in the extended reading to find out what's really going on here. So if you want to see the extended reading, there is a link in the description box and at the top of the comments section, it's gonna say click below for the Cancer October extended reading. One link will take you to Vimeo, the other will take you to my website where for a nominal fee, you can see the rest of this extended reading, okay? Thank you so much, Cancers. Love you and I will see you next week. God bless.